Hey folks, it's Ben. It's the winter of 2023 right now. And um, this next video that's coming up is one of those videos that was shot but never really went all the way. So we didn't re release it then. Um, but it's kind of quiet in the winter time, so I might as well release it now. Uh, it deals with my wife's uh, 1987 Pontiac Fiero SE. Pretty in pink as we'll call it because this car down the road will have a wrap onto it. Uh, but it deals with this front emblem here. I'll let the video speak for itself and I'll talk to you at the end. Hey folks, it's Ben. We're here with our 1987 Pontiac Fiero SE. Now this car is a very faded gold metallic. So it's a nice color for Fiero. Um, but the actual plans for this car and why we call it pretty in pink is that it's gonna be wrapped. And so we've got some work to do on the body panels. And the first things first is actually over here, which starts with our badge. Now this had been stripped by the previous owner. So it was just this black thing and they actually put a little bit of carbon fiber in here, I recall. Yeah. Now this badge is actually just bolted to the car. There's actually one stud and one pin. So we went underneath and access is just straight up. There's a 10 millimeter bolt there. And then you can just lift this badge off and you can see that's where the bolt would be or the nut I should say. And uh, there it is actually for reference. It's just a st pressed steel. And that's what holds the badge on. So what we need to do if we're gonna wrap this, we're not gonna include the, we're gonna, we're gonna leave the Fiero badge off the car and we're actually gonna put a massive decal on the hood once we get it wrapped. But till that point in time, we need to fill these holes in so that it looks nice. You could use a variety of body fillers, but we're just gonna use JB Weld and sand it down. Interesting note, this is not the original nose to the car because the factory would have painted the whole thing gold and then they would have put the badge on. In this case, you can see that we have the original panel color underneath and it was painted gold around it, clearly. And there's even a little bit of overspray on our badge, you can see right there. So the fact that the clear coat is actually even on it indicates that this is probably a replacement part well into early in the vehicle's life, like when it was warranted to replace uh, the panel with a, a replacement panel. That's why the color difference between the two panels is so great, is that this is an, uh, a newer gold that's not factory gold. And, uh, but now the clear coat has failed. And uh, so now it's time to we were gonna to have to sand that off. But in this case, we're just gonna mix up some JB Weld, which everyone knows how to do, hopefully. And we're just gonna putty this in. So let's take a look at that. So we've got some JB Weld here. It's already been used. And uh, it's a 50-50 mix. So it's black and white, obviously. And you go ahead and mix it to a fine gray. And it has a period of setup, but it doesn't matter for us because we're just gonna smear it. Yeah, that should be good. And uh, we're just gonna smear it all together fill up our holes as flat as we ballpark can because then what we'll do is we'll come back in and we'll sand it. So we've got that and we have a used popsicle stick clearly used because of the red from the whatever ch cherry popsicle. flavor it was. Yep. Yeah. And if it's not enough we'll just mix some more and do it again. But... That's probably good enough, so let's go back to the pack. So we got two holes to fill, our pin and our actual bolt hole, which isn't threaded, right? It's just the... So we'll fill that hole up. So we might need to mix another batch for the other hole. Let's see how we do. Let me see you focus on that. Perfect. That hole says no. Nope. That hole says no. So what we might actually need to do is we'll actually come through Later the car on. in some places and we'll sand it down and there'll be a little dimple where the hole is clearly. And we'll just tap a little Bondo in there and uh, flatten that hole back out again. But at least we've got a fur base to work off of now. So next up for us will be able to be dry and we'll try to sand it down. And yeah, we're getting that sinkage. so. Yep. It's gonna fall right it's through. Going through the hole. That's why I gotta stick my hand up here and push it all out. I also need to stick a piece of cardboard underneath it. No, well, it sets pretty quick. But... Yeah, it's probably five minutes. But yeah, we'll have to come through and we'll see. But uh... oops, we leave that there. We'll uh, go ahead and uh, 
Let it sap a little bit, I'll pull my hand out and we'll come back and sand. So I'm not quite sure where the video left you hanging, but long story short is all we have to do now is we actually came back with another coat of uh, JB Weld. So now we have it, and you can see it's been sanded a little bit, but we've really got to nail it and, and bring this down to flush and smooth. We might hit it with a little bit of Bondo, might not. This panel is not overly flexible, but you know, it is a little bit. So we might just sand this down so it's nice and smooth so it won't be distinguishable when we wrap the car. Because uh, once it's wrapped, then it'll just be faded into anything else that's going along here. Lots of bug strikes and stuff. Not going to worry about it too much. But that's the quick and dirty, essentially, on how to get rid of this guy if you want to. If it had been an original mint one, we probably would still pull it. Because when you wrap a car, you typically want to get as many badges that you don't need off of it. So uh, that's kind of the things we're looking for. If you have any questions on this little bit here... It's a big process wrapping a car, so we'll go through all of them. Go ahead and ask them. Comments like, don't use JB Weld, it'll crack or break. Should you use Bondo? Hey, we're open to suggestions. And of course, subscribe to our channel, Turbo231, for more videos on this Fiero and that Fiero and that truck. <clears throat> and you can follow us on Instagram at Alice Under the Rainbow. And I'll maybe see if I can leave a link in the back or in the notes. You guys, have a good day.